Welcome everyone, I'm still in Bolivia and today I'm going to the Salt Flats. Super excited! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently on a tour of South America and I'm going to Chile, Bolivia and Peru. And I've been to Chile and I'm now in Bolivia. And today we are going to the Salt Flats. I'm super excited about this because the Salt Flats of Bolivia have been on my bucket list. And we all have our bucket list items and we were so excited to go and finally do them. However, this morning I was not feeling well. I had really bad altitude sickness and I felt really weak and like found it really difficult to just walk just to reception to pick up the tour. I'd been awake all night because I couldn't catch my breath but uh, the tour guide gave me a, f a full fat coke to drink and lots of cocoa leaves to chew in the side of my mouth and for me that personally works and uh, as you'll see from the footage, as we're driving through the salt flats, I packed up pretty quickly. Let's take a look. just vast and we stopped at this little part here so that we could see how the water and the salt work together and you could actually pull parts of the salt out of these water lakes it was fascinating and I still have a block of salt that I pulled out from one of those little water well, I suppose they're not lakes, but you know what I mean. Um, oh gosh, now I've got it everywhere. So after that, we went to a place called Col Colcani, and it's just this area where they have built all of these salt sculptures. And you can climb up them and, you know, sit on them and take your picture. And you probably will all recognise the big hand made of salt that people sit in and climb on. And I, you know, I had a lot of fun here and I did try and climb everything. Next we arrived at this area called Danka and there was all these bikers there from Colombia they said they were and um, I did get my picture with them up by the sign but the person taking the picture of my camera didn't press the right button but still it was pretty cool and then there's all these flags that you just walk around and they're just in the middle of these salt flats, bizarre but fun. I mean, aren't those flags just wonderful? I think mean, I could have just walked around them for ages. I mean, it's just, it's bizarre and quirky, and as you know by now, I like quirky. So next we went to a cactus island. It's called, I have to read this, Isla Incahusi. So apparently this was once an uh, island on its own, and as the lakes dried up round it, it just became this hill, and all these giant cactus just grow on it. Now we climbed up to the top and I will say it's quite a climb 
especially when you're suffering with altitude sickness so you have to take your time but you climb up there and it's just amazing you've got this contrast of the island and the cacti against this white background it's just stunning day off we went and found this area which is just salt flats for miles and miles we had some champagne and some snacks and then we just enjoyed the sunset of Bolivia. Now I picked this door because it, it went to certain places that I really wanted to go and the salt flats of Bolivia was one of the main ones. It's as I said before been on my bucket list and I've seen pictures on Instagram and I've seen videos on YouTube and I had really high expectations but I have to say no video and no picture can do this place justice. You have to see it for yourself to see just the enormity of it and the beauty. It, it did exceed my expectations. I absolutely loved it. I had such a fun day. I was very lucky. I was with a great group of people who were also up for having a laugh and climbing all the structures. Absolutely marvellous. I absolutely recommend it if you are in Bolivia to go to the salt flats and spend a day there it's just marvelous so I will see you next time in La Paz and I'm really excited for this and on the top of my list is to get to the witches market I will see you then thank you for watching as always and until next time bye <laughs>